Okay, so in this video, I just wanted to talk about some tips for college students in undergrad who are planning on going to law school or even just considering going to law school. Just some things that you can do as an undergraduate student that'll make your law school application process and your first year of law school a lot easier. So yeah, we will dive in. I've got five tips and quick little disclaimer. Um, I'm not an expert or anything. I am literally just a girl who is in her second year of law school and just sharing things that I have learned along the way. Some of these tips I feel like I did and they worked for me. Others I wish I had done. <laughs> Okay, so my first tip is to clean up your writing. So what I mean by that is just get rid of typos, grammatical errors, misspellings, stop forgetting words, proofread everything more times than you already do. Um, and I just say that because in law school and in the legal profession, all of those things matter a lot more than they do anywhere else. And if you can already sort of train your eyes and your brain to read things really thoroughly for stuff like that, you're doing yourself such a huge service for law school. You'll have such a leg up in your legal writing classes because if you think about your audience's mindset, the minute they read a typo or a grammatical error, especially if it's a judge or something, once you're a lawyer, you have lost so much credibility that you had when you started writing the minute they see an error, you know? So, and the same goes for your professors. They will think, you know, they're reading it and all of a sudden a paper that was great, it's like, ooh, like they obviously didn't care that much, there's a typo. Just don't do it. So. Become a stickler about that in undergrad because then you'll just build habits and you won't even really have to think about it that hard. Of course, you'll have to proofread a lot in law school, but you won't be like refreshing your memory on grammar rules, things like that. And when you're an undergrad, the ways to do that would just simply be in your papers and things you have to write, obviously proofread them and start to make sure that they're perfect. And I do mean perfect. You know, and start to proofread your emails, your text messages, like things that may not matter. Just get really make it regular that your writing is flawless. Legal writing is a whole nother skill set to learn, so it, let's not have to relearn grammar and spelling while we're at it. So my second tip is to know and really understand your personal process for different things. So that's note taking, studying, test taking, things like that. Um, because while law school is a different setting and the material you're learning like is really different than stuff you would have learned as an undergrad, you're not gonna be that different of a student so for note taking as an undergrad, figure out how you like to best take notes. Do you like OneNote, Microsoft Word? Do you take notes by hand? I personally take notes by hand, unless the professor talks too fast, then I will type them. Um, I just use Word, but I've known that since undergrad and I tried out different methods and realized that I process information and like digest it a lot better if I write it down by hand. But I learned that as an undergrad and carried it right into law school, unless the professor talks too fast, then I have to <laughs> take notes on my computer. But that was something I learned to so figure out like what kind of a note taker you are, test taking, know if you're someone that gets test anxiety, how do you handle that? Are there things you like to do day of, you know, caffeine, how does that affect your test taking? Things like that, just get your processes really in order because it's not gonna be that different in law school so you, and you have all of undergrad to figure out what works for you. Come to law school putting your best foot forward, doing what works for you because you already know that. Okay, my third tip if you are a college student and you're planning on going to law school is just to start talking to people who are either in law school, have been, if you have any law-ish classes, talk to those professors. Um, that'll be super helpful for a couple of reasons. You will need letters of recommendation when you apply for law school. Talk to your professors, talk to lawyers around the area. Your rec letters don't have to come from professors, I don't think. It's been a while since I've applied, but um, so it could come from just like a lawyer or someone in the field, but just start talking to people and tell them that that's something you're consider. Even if you're not planning on going to law school yet, you're just considering it, tell people that. They can so help you make the decision, apply, do all the right things. I don't know. I just found that the more people I told I wanted to go to law school, the more doors just kind of opened up for me because people were so willing to help and tell me about their experience and things like that. So I don't know. Talk to your professors, talk to people in your community. It'll help with rec letters. It'll help you plan your law school experience. And who knows, it might even open a career opportunity down the line. So don't be secretive about your law school plans. Um, my fourth tip is to consider taking some time off between undergrad and law school. This is totally personal to use. I'm not even advocating taking time off or not. I'm just saying recognize that both are pretty valid choices and I don't think Depending on your circumstances, if you do have the choice, it is a choice. <laughs> so I took two years off between undergrad and law school. 
and I was just working at like different jobs. And while I don't think that I learned anything like directly related to law school, I wasn't working at a law firm or anything. I did grow up a lot. I think the years, your like first few years out of college, you do grow up a lot. So I do feel like I was more mature by the time I started law school. That probably sounds dumb and I'm still not that mature, but um, I took two years off and I thought it was really beneficial. I have classmates who went straight through and are super big advocates of that. And this is very personal. Your circumstances might mandate that you take time off or that you don't. It just depends. Um, all I'm saying is that if you have the option, consider it because I think there's pluses and minuses on both sides depending on your situation. And it's worth, you know, a quick pro con list about doing it. I also think there's something to be said, depending on your undergrad experience, I also think there's something to be said about burnout. Like I know for me, I had just gone because I had two majors and a minor as an undergrad, I was in school winter term, summer terms, like I was always in school, at least in online classes. So I hadn't really had a break ever from school. So I was really burnt out. And so I do think there's something to be said about sort of recharging and sort of reinvigorating maybe your love for school if that is something that can, cause that's something that can get lost in undergrad and I needed two years to like remember that I liked school, was excited to go to law school, things like that. Okay, and then my fifth and final tip is to, this sounds funny, but like relearn how to read. And what I mean by that is that reading in law school, in my experience, is very different than reading in undergrad because just getting like the bottom line, while that may still be the goal in a lot of the things you're reading in law school, you will need to understand it so much more deeply just reteach yourself how to read things thoroughly. I feel like in undergrad, you just get so used to like, you have so much work, you need to fire off assignments, you read something quickly, get the gist. And honestly, like in the law practice, that's probably what a lot of lawyers are doing too. But in law school, you know, you might be cold called about like, and what was the second cousin's name in this case? You're like, I don't know, I didn't read it that closely. So learn to read it that closely because it'll help you in law school. And it really does, like when you're reading something like a Supreme Court opinion or something, it's the Supreme, every line they're writing matters, you know? So you really want to reteach yourself to read closely and take it from me, who I feel like I did not do a great job of that. And so my first semester of law school was like kind of jarring because I would read something, go to class and be like, oh, like, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. I didn't have any embarrassing like cold calls or anything necessarily, but I quickly learned when I got there, like, okay, there's reading and then there's reading. <laughs> so the latter being what we want to go for in law school. So if you can teach yourself or sort of like reteach yourself how to do that in undergrad, just whether that's books for pleasure or reading you have to do for undergrad, just teach yourself to read it closely. It kind of goes back to what I was saying my first tip about your writing. Build those habits now so that you don't have to think about them later on. And reading means that second option already. I don't know, learn to read. Okay, so those are my five tips if you are in college and planning on going to law school, just sort of some habits to put in place before you go to law school. And again, I'm not an expert, I am just a girl in law school. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.